What's up guys, uh, Nick White here, tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, um, and we are doing rotate string today, very easy problem, uh, really could just message this or make like a status update, but uh, to even explain this one it's so easy, but um, it's kind of a trick solution, it's kind of something you have to know, it's kind of something you have to think about, you could get asked this into an interview, in an interview I highly doubt it, but uh, I actually did get asked this in an interview before, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, some people will, can basically, here's the problem first. Rotate a string, uh, given two strings A and B. A shift on A consists of taking a string A and moving the leftmost, leftmost character to the rightmost position. For example, A, B, C, D, E would become B, C, D, E, A. That may, That's because we take the A when we shift it and we move it to the end. So it's B, C, D, E, A after one shift. Um, so we're doing, it's like left shift. It's not a right shift. It's left shifting. Um, return true if A can become B after some number of shifts. So we're looking at this and we see A is A, B, C, D, E, and B is C, D, E, A, B. Well, if we did shift this twice, we would put A to the end, then we put B to the end. See that? And then we do get C, D, E, A, B. So we, we would return true. And then this one is false because no matter what, you can't. Now, how do you do this? Well, some people think it's smart to split it into an array and then shift the array and then do that. You could do that, but I think that's a bad idea because this solution is a one-line solution. Um, if you think about, if you're smart and you know how to do it, I realistically, I only, I don't even remember if I thought of this on my own, but uh, this is, I, I knew about this one like three years ago. It was one of the first ones because it's so tricky. Uh, I remember upperclassmen showing me this in college. Um, so let's just look at it for a second. What, what you need to know is that if you do double a, if you just add it onto a, if you add another version of a onto a, so if we do a plus a, that would be this string plus this string into a final string, right? So that would be this. We would add a, b, c, d, e onto the end of a, b, c, d, e. And when you look at this, this contains every possible shift every possible left shift uh that could happen so you see here it's not just a p c d e anymore it's b c it's here's the first version of the shift here would be one shift here would be two shifts here would be three shifts i don't even know if i'm highlighting these right here would be four shifts and here would be the f you know the final shift here and then you're back to the beginning so it has every shift. Now you just have to see whether this string contains this string. And you know that it does in this case. See, C, D, E, A, B. So if you just add an extra version, if you just say return, first of all, we have to just say A dot length has to be equal to B dot length. So they have to be the same size. And then the only other condition that has to match is A plus A dot contains the string B. And that's it. You can return this, um, and that's going to give you your answer. If this string of A plus A contains B, then that means that, because it, it has every version of every shift within it, then that's going to contain the string, then that means it's possible to shift to get to it. You don't have to do anything crazy. Um, just a cool trick solution. Hopefully you guys have heard of this one before. It's pretty cool. Uh, it could come up in an interview, and instead of having to be like split it into an array and start shifting the array... Uh, you could just do this little trick, and they might be impressed. They might think that you're on top of your game. It's a little nerd trick for you. So, all right, that's uh, rotate string. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next.